Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. During this video, we're going to show you how to hook up an Ethernet IP EX600 serial interface device to the PLC of your choosing. During this video, we're going to show you exactly what you need and show you step by step how to assemble them. In the end, we're going to turn the power on to make sure that everything works. Let's get started. These are the parts and part numbers that you will need in order to connect your Ethernet IP EX600 to your PLC. These are the tools that you will need to hook everything up. First, we need to assemble the EX600 modules. Connect the I.O. module to the end plate. Add additional I.O. modules as needed. After the I.O., add the serial interface unit to the far right. Tighten the side brackets to the torque shown. On the valve manifold, attach the valve plate with a horizontal tab on the bottom. Then the valve manifold will attach to the SI module. Tighten down the bracket to spec. Next, let's connect the power supply cable to the end plate using the 7 8 5 pin cable and on the other side, strip the wires and connect them to the power supply as shown. Polarity matters. Connect the ground lug to the chassis ground. Plug all the unused M12 I.O. ports to assure its IP rating. Now, make the field bus cable connection. Use the upper left M12 port. The RJ45 connector on the other end connects to the switch. Next, connect the PLC to the network. In our case, we use the patch cable RJ45 connector at the PLC and the other at the switch. Finally, connect everything to 110 volts AC. Turn on the power and look for lights and communication. We have them there, there, and there. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we'll show you how to configure your Ethernet IP EX600.